Um, so yeah, I just completely smashed my bank account in this game. I'm going to have to find a way to go... Wow. You are not only extremely ugly, you have one of the most annoying voices I ever heard, ever. Why am I here? This is the Mage's Guild. I don't want to be here. I want to be here. Well, this is a grand day. Greetings. Why does a Nord have an American accent? It doesn't make sense. Did you recover? Well, my accent doesn't really make all that much sense either, but at least it's my accent. Did you recover the debt money from this Elliot? Or have you just been wasting time? Well? Wow. Do you have the 200 septims the seller owes you our client? So our client is the Kamona Tong. I'm not sure how pleased I am of that, because Kamona Tong are, you know, racist fuckers. We don't know that in this game yet, but I know that because I've played this before, and they're racist fuckers. Just take it from me. Yes, here it is. Good work, Morris. Here's your share. So how about that uh, advancement now, huh? Your talents are not worthy. But some question your depth of devotion? What? What's that shit all about? Tell me who those some are, and I'll kick their asses. Okay, what's my... What's my... Jude... Wait, wait. Can't I talk about duties anymore? Surely I can talk about duties. Um, where's my duties gone? Orders, that's it, orders. I have a bounty contract for the orc Jura Gravol. This orc is an outlaw, living openly in a house here in Balmora. I have a contract here that says 250 uh, septims are yours if you bring her to justice. Her? Ah, oh, but it's just an orc, I don't really care. Wait, where? <laughs> she says, in a house in Balmora. There's pl quite a few houses in Balmora. Which one is it? So I'm going to... <laughs> I'm just going to have to knock on, like, doors and ask, like... Are you the criminal that I need to kill? Oh, no. Okay, bye. Um... Okay, that's not the place either. Is this it? Dragrabol. Wait, I'm going to use my Nordic shit for that. Because I want to look like a badass. Wow, this is a long blade. And I managed to perforate it with my shoulder plate. I, I, I suppose he has a key to that thing in his pocket or something. Wow. I want a house with, with a tower on it. I keep forgetting it's a female orc. Alright, stranger, tell me what you want. Services? Or are you in Balmora for someone in particular? Well, I'm here in Balmora for you. What? I'm here in Balmora for you. The Fighters Guild sent me here. Okay, come on. Is there no way that I can... I guess I just have to... No, I'm, I'm going to taunt her. Intimidate first. And then taunt. Taunt. Come on, attack me. Attack me. Come on. Do me a boon and attack me. Get lost. You're pa You call me pathetic? You will die for that. Uh oh. I totally missed that. Wow. You went down fast, didn't you? Huh? Is there anything here of any sort of value? Of course she doesn't have a key to her own fucking chest. That makes sense. Um, crap, meat. Anything! Please, soap. At least some soap. That's worth some money. But other than, other than that, it's pretty pathetic pickings in this place. 
I honestly expected more uh, in the in a way of um, you know wealth. But then she's an outlaw. How much do you really? Well, you do expect wealth from an outlaw because otherwise, how did she get outlawed? Yeah, from murder. You don't automatically get rich from murder. I get it. But at least, finally, I did a job that didn't cost me excessive amounts of money. Which I guess is good. Um... Yes. Hello. Oh, wow. I, I... I accidentally pressed E. I didn't even realize I was talking to her yet. Wow, she's... The way she's standing now, it, it, it likes, it's like she's doing one of them, those stances like, Hey there, handsome. Give me the status on Jedi Grabol. Surely you haven't botched up this mission, have you? I I have never botched up a mission. Where does she get this nerve to, to talk to me like this? Jedi Grabol is pretty dead. I heard that Jedi Grabol is dead. Yes, I just told you. Here's your 250 septims. That sounds good. Now am I ready to advance? Your te Depth of devotion again? Why? I don't have any orders for anyone under the rank of Protector. Find out what you need for advancement. The guild stewards at Vivek City, Cedric Mora or Aldrum might have some work for you in the meantime. What do I need for advancement then? Come on, what do I need? Training. Oh. Of course, my rank is too now for the likes of her. <laughs> okay, so do you any do anything noteworthy? Probably not. Oh, you barter. That's actually that's actually noteworthy. I probably don't buy the shit that I need to sell, but still, you do something right. Oh, the fireblade. I can get rid of this. I totally forgot I had that. Dude, I'm part of your gang. Give me your shiz. I don't want your skills. Can I help you? You out? have training and you have skills in medium. I already have loads of skill in that. So, Maybe. no, thank you. Um, how much more till I level up? Wow, four more. I haven't been leveling up that quickly, have I? Not at all. Yes. Wow. We're Beard Brothers! Look at that! He's also a Sir! We're two Sirs! Look at us! We are the same! We are brethren, you and I! From now on, I will never leave your side! Or at least not for the next one second. Bye-bye! So, um, I'm going to sell some stuff off. And hopefully... May maybe, um, Mr... Mr... Um, Dude, Kai's Casadas will actually let me, you know, give me an order now. But I doubt it because I haven't leveled up yet. So I'm probably going to have to wait a bit. Well, not wait a bit, so I have to go and do stuff in order to, um, to, to be considered for the job. Was there anything else I wanted to sell? Not really. Was there? No. Yes. Wait, what's this actually? Shock damage on touch. I'm going to sell that one as well because I don't need it and I need money. I'm going to bump it up to 450. Seems reasonable to me. See? Very reasonable. Um, What do I do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going back to the fighter school to get the key because I totally forgot. From Hasfat and Tabolis, and that will give us a chance to at least talk to that guy one more time. Hopefully the last time because his voice is starting to annoy me. And I know I'm the one doing it, but still. Hello, Hasfat. Hello, Muris. Hello again, Muris. What do you want? You already gave me the drummer puzzle box. Don't you remember? What? Oh yes, I'd forgotten! Here is a Dwemer key, made according to the instructions I found in the puzzle box you brought me. I have no idea what it's good for, but if you take it back to Arkenton, maybe you'll find the lock uh, The lock it opens. Oh, thank you. Also, anything of use here? 
I'll do. I'll, I'll buy one block, I guess. Please, by all means. And now I'm only, th I'm only two away from advancing a level. So what I need to do is fight some scum. Come on, then. Say something and get my freak on. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Fort Moon Moth and become an army man. I'm going to be... Oh, I'm only one away now. Oh, yes. And with a bit of jumping, I think... Ooh. Yes, I should rest and meditate on what I've learned. And perhaps, perhaps, that will allow me to go and, um, you know, do Kaiser's next quest, which is good. So I'm just going to run off to his bed, because, you know, I always like to sleep in Kaiser's bed. He's just, I mean, he, he looks like an old stern drug addict, but he's, he's a sweetie, really. And um, you know he always strokes your hair a bit when when you when you are in his arms, so he's he's really tender. Tiding citizen. Tiding citizen, you speak that way to me, but we were lovers on the down low. Surely you have kinder words for me, your sir. You had a disturbing dream. You can only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led you among the dead as though a wedding celebration. You heard many voices, but no lips moved. No, obviously not. They were dead. You strained to breathe, but your chest didn't move. A tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking as if they were alive, but they made no reply. You tried to cry out, but without breath, your tongue fluttered in vain. Well, that's, um... Can I... Can I rest now, please? Thank you. You have ascended to level 3. You realize that you are catching on to the secret of success. It's just a matter of concentration. Okay, so we used strength. Uh, we can use more speed. Agility, my ability to dodge... And hit targets in melee. Well, I can definitely use that one. Because honestly, I suck a bit at, you know, hitting people. So, um, I'll just do that. There you go. Please, by all means, I'm listening. Oh, guys, I was really afraid just then. Because I, 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 you know, gone on, I'd leveled up and went to Vivek and all that. And suddenly the FPS counter in my upper right, in the upper right corner of my screen was yellow instead of red. Which means that it's not recording. So I was like, no. No. No! Did I hear someone slide a, bra a blade out of this cupboard? Well, whatever. Um, it, wa it was bad. And it was bad because, obviously, Where did I you don't want... Um, I, 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 I thought I'd, you know, played like two hours without recording. But apparently, I, I'd forgotten to, um, to, to delete my old footage, and my entire disk space, all my disk space, was just full, uh, filled up. So it stopped recording because it just didn't have any room for more. So um, I'm just going to level up now and do my thing. So strength, agility, and speed. Um, you realize that you're catching on to the secret of success, it's just a matter of concentration. And then I'm going to talk about uh, to this guy about a job. I hate to discuss your orders, Morris, or is there something else you want? Well, tell me about those orders then. Do you think I'm worthy now? I thought it over and I want you to interview the three informants in Vivek City concerning the Neverine and the Sixth House. First, I want you to speak with Adhiranir, a Kashit Thieves Guild operative. Second, I want you to speak with Hulia. An Argonian in the Morak Tong. Finally, I want you to speak with Mera Milo, a temple priestess. Here, I've written the details down so you won't forget. And here are 200 drakes for bribes and other expenses. Well, judging by the uh, bribery we've been doing, 200 drakes isn't nearly going to cut it. But uh, let's read Caius's thing, uh, his notes. 
so we have some more info. The following note are notes prepared by Kais Kassadis to summarize your mission to Vivek City. In Vivek, look for these three, uh, these three persons and get them to tell you what they know about the Nerevarine cult and the Sixth House cult. Each owes me a favor and each should be willing to cooperate. Adiranir is a Khajiit and a Thieves Guild operative. She won't be easy to find, but ask around in St. Dorm's Canton. Folks are easily offended in St. Dorm's. Be careful what you say. Don't call them Lackwits or Cravens or Asshats. A little courtesy, a little coin, a little favor in the right place will get you in touch with her. Hulia is an Argonian and a Moroktong assassin. Look for him in the foreign quarter at the Black Shore Corner Club. He's known around Vivek City as a lover of books and all things. MILFs, for instance. M Mira Milo is a temple priestess who works in the libraries at the Hall of Wisdom and Justice. The Hall of Wisdom and Justice is open to the public. Just walk around until you find her. Do not ask anyone at the Hall of Wisdom and Justice about Mira Milo. I don't want to draw attention to the fact that she's talking to an outlander. Mira Milo is a particular friend and I don't want her to get in trouble. <laughs> hey, Caius, you naughty old git. Are you having a naughty, naughty little get-togethers with Miramilo? Hmm, you, you crazy old charming guy, you. We have spoken with each of these persons and gotten what the information they can give you. Return and report to me. Oh, uh, um, I, I actually ju just, you know, went through this bit before. Fortunately, I didn't go too far before I realized that I wasn't actually recording anymore. Um... I was going to go to Vivek, and I would actually arrived, but not much more than that. We are, again, going by way of Silt Strider. And I'm going to show you Vivek a tiny bit, and then I'm going to be off, because I don't want to make sessions too long. I think, um, you know, disk space being filled up is a good sign that it's uh, it, the session is a bit too long, so I'm going to make that shorter in the future. Um... Also, my voice, my throat is killing me, so I'm just going to quit in not too long. First, though, I'm going to show you Vivac because it's a huge city. It's the biggest city in this game. It's possibly bigger than most cities in Oblivion 2. Maybe not bigger than the Imperial City, but, you know, it's, it, it comes close. Um... It's divided up into several cantons, which are basically man-built islands uh, connected by bridges and canals. And um, at the end there is like a huge temple thing, which is where Vivek is, like the god after whom the city was named. Um, I'm just going to try and, and show you... Um, how big, just how big the city is. Um, it, I, I do think it's a beautiful city, it's just got one drawback. It's so big that it's really hard to find people, and especially with quests like these, where it is your purpose to find people, um, this city is quite annoying. But as you can see, really, really big. Over there, that's the temple, that's the, the moon or whatever, that's, um, just a flying block of stone. It's just there. You'll 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 get to know the lore around this later on, as I talk to people who know about it. And we'll just oh wait, you can get higher than no no. And just as you can see, there's like um a Daedric ruin there. Another town right over there. I don't know what town it is. Or is that or I don't oh wait I think. Yeah, that's a Dwemer, Dwemer mine. Yes, I'm going to leave you guys. Sorry, I I, I was quiet for a tiny bit, bit because I was just, you know, sort of reminiscing about all times with this game. Oh, and by the way, this guy's armor, I want it. This is one of the best, um, you know, the best kinds of armor, medium armor you can get. So, um, I want it. The only drawback about that armor is if you wear it, and you go into Vivek, those guys will attack you because they're like, No! Only we can wear our armor! You cannot, so we will kill you for it. They are um, quite persistent about that. Anyway, I'm going to leave you here. And we will try and find these guys later on. So, um, 
I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or anything like that, just, you know, there's a comment section down below, so don't hesitate to use that. Um, if you have any ideas or suggestions, also use the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't hesitate to press the like button, um, and, you know, just, I'll guess, I guess I'll see you next time. So, I hope you had fun, and oh, I totally... I totally forgot how I was going to end that sentence, so I'll just say, I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you later, bye.